So um, there's uh, a lot of concerns that, that I have regarding the, the MCU going forward because the um, state of the movie industry right now is uh, not looking good. Uh, as I'm sure you guys have heard, um, The Suicide Squad came out um, just last week, or rather this weekend, and um, it did very badly at the box office, um, despite the fact that um, it's very well received, very well liked by fans and, and fellow moviegoers alike. Um, <laughs> People like the movie very much. You know, it's considered to be a massive improvement over the original Suicide Squad movie. Yet, despite how much people like it, it didn't make a whole lot of money at the box office. And uh, we saw a similar situation um, with Black Widow. Um, I mean, on its first weekend, it did really well. But then on the second weekend, immediate drop off. Like, it was a massive, massive drop off. The biggest drop off we've ever seen, you know, with the MCU movie, you know, f for a long time at least. So, you know, and, you know, this this entire thing led to a lawsuit um, where um, Scarlett Johansson is basically suing Disney um, because the contract that they signed w was basically a deal where the film was going to be released exclusively in theaters, but because they put the movie on Disney Plus as well, um, the movie that they made from the movie on Disney Plus is basically not getting paid out um, to Miss Johansson and the rest of the people who worked on the movie. So, you know, that's why, you know, Scarlett is suing them, you know, because basically Disney did not honor the deal that they made. So um, this entire situation is basically a huge mess and... Is probably one of the reasons why the rest of the movies in the MCU going forward are going to be theatrical releases only. <laughs> and um, it seems like um, other movie studios are following suit as well because Sony is committed to releasing Spider-Man No Way Home and their separate Spider-Man movies, Morbius and Venom, Let There Be Carnage, um, in theaters exclusively as well. Now, they just announced today that... Um, the international release for Venom Let There Be Carnage is, is going to be delayed. Um, I think that the U.S. release date is still the same for the moment, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if they end up delaying the film um, everywhere, not just internationally, um, because of, you know, because let's, let's just... Be real here. The pandemic is still going on, and now with the the, the Delta variant floating around, which is much more easily spread, um, people aren't going to be as feel as safe going to the movie theaters. Hence, why you know, despite movies being well received, they're doing poorly at the box office. So, if movie studios are committed to movies being theaters only, excuse me. You know, again, I'm sure especially Disney would like to avoid having another situation like what they have with Miss Johansson at the moment where, you know, they don't want to get sued again by, by the actors because of uh, theater exclusivity deals and whatnot. But if the movies are not going to make that much money at the box office and they can only release them in theaters, then, yeah, that, that's going to be really bad for them. So they either need to... <laughs> Release, they either need to delay the movies or um, renegotiate their deals to allow for a theatrical plus streaming simultaneous release. So, you know, Shang-Chi is just right around the corner. Like, the movie's coming out literally next month. So, I don't think that movie's going to get delayed, but I am pretty sure it is going to be a theatrical release only. And, uh, Depending on how well that movie does, it could very well end up being the determining factor in whether or not the rest of the MCU films end up getting delayed. Like, I'm pretty sure Shang-Chi will be theatrical release only. I'm pretty sure it's not going to do well, and it's going to lead to a, a, a delay in other MCU films, including Spider-Man No Way Home, which, again, the release date for that is controlled by Sony, even though it's... Marvel Studios film. It's also a Sony film as well. So and and Sony does is the one that has the publishing rights to Spider-Man movies. So they are ultimately the ones who are in control of when that gets released. But again, you know, if it, if that gets pushed back, then everything else needs to get pushed back. And um, 
you know, if all the rumors are true uh, about Sony's movies and Spider-Man No Way Home being connected, then they definitely need to delay Spider-Man No Way Home if Sony's own films are, are getting delayed as well. So uh, the entire thing is a mess, and I don't see it ending well for anybody involved. You know, the fans are going to get screwed. The people who made the movies are going to get screwed. The, 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 the people putting out the movies are going to get screwed. Like, like it's just... It's, it's it's something that I honestly don't want to talk about because it's just the entire thing is a mess and um, it's not pleasant to talk about but it is something that is happening and it is something to be concerned about so it's got to be brought up so yeah I don't know I, I'm at this point I'm I'm expecting the worst. Pretty sure Shang Chi is not going to do well at the box office, and it's going to lead to the delays. And uh, God knows we're going to end up back in the situation where we were back in 2020, where nothing new for Marvel was being released. Um, I'm pretty sure they'll still keep producing stuff, but as far as actually putting stuff out, uh, there's going to be delays for sure. Now, thankfully, at least when it comes to the MCU. Um, they do have shows to fall back off, back on now, um, thanks to Disney Plus, and, uh, you know, the Disney Plus shows do not have anything to worry about with regards to, like, um, theater exclusivity deals and whatnot, you know, so, I'm pretty sure none of those will get delayed, um, unless, um, something ends up happening where the delay of a movie forces a delay of a show, like, um, you know, like, they even said Loki needed to come out when it did because the events that happened specifically at the end of Loki are what lead into the upcoming What If show, which they'd use this week. So, um, you know, they, they needed to make sure that, that Loki came first because otherwise um, we don't really know what, why, what if happens if, if we don't see happens in Loki first, so it could end up being a thing where, you know, delaying a show is necessary because otherwise, you know, the narrative flow of whatever movies are, are going to come out, you know, wouldn't make sense. So, um, yeah, and, unless there there's a reason to delay, yeah, yeah, basically, that's the only reason why they, they would delay a show is because it wouldn't make sense to release it, you know, before or after a certain movie or whatnot. So um, that's really the only concern to have with, with the shows on that end. But as far as um, delays because of, you know, not doing well at the box office, we don't have to worry about that, with the shows at least. So, um, yeah.